It depends on the project, but sometimes you'll find yourself dealing with large GLTF models like this one I'm using as an environment. As you can see here, besides 40 textures, we have this large space composed of several thousands of vertices and triangles, and that of course makes the app take a bit of time to load. So if I refresh the page, you see that we have to wait a few seconds to finally get the model in the scene. And that of course is a normal behavior, however what's not normal is the absence of an indicator to tell the user that the app needs a period of time to load the necessary assets. In this example one can wait the 3 or 4 seconds of loading time because it can be expected, but imagine if we had 30 or maybe 50 other assets, the app of course would need way more time to load and that would make it kind of a frustrating experience for the user because they will not know if the app is loading or freezing, they try to reload but again, without an indicator to tell them they need to wait, they will end up quitting. And that leads us to the main topic of this tutorial which is how to create a loading interface using the loading manager class in 3GS. Before we continue, in case you're wondering how I created the scene, as I said, I just loaded a model that I downloaded from sketchfab.com and I used the first person controls class for the camera movements. Having said that, if you are still not certain how to create it, I'm down to make a tutorial on this, so just leave me a comment and I will do it. Now, the first thing we are going to do is create an instance of the loading manager class, then pass that instance to the GLTF loader constructor. This loading manager has four methods to provide us with information about the loading process. The first one is onStart which is called at the start of loading. It takes three arguments. The first represents the URL of the file to be loaded. The second argument represents the index of the loaded object. And the third is the total number of objects to be loaded. That said, within the body of this function we can type whatever logic we want executed when the loading event takes place. The second method we have is on progress, and this one is called every time it starts loading one component of the model. Our model has 40 textures, the GLTF and the BIM file, so this should be called 42 times. The first argument of this function is the path of the loaded file, the second one is its index, and the third is the total number of files to be loaded. Next, we have onload, which is called right when the loading process is finished. And finally, we have on error, which gets called when something wrong occurs loading one of the files. So for example, if I delete one texture, you'll see that along with the default error message, we get also ours printed in the console. Now, before we get into the next section, I want you to know that the loading manager is not exclusive to the GLTF loader, so here we can use this same loading manager with the RGBE loader. Another thing to mention is that when we use the same loading manager for more than one loader, the total number in the onProgress function will be the result of the addition of the number of loaded files. First, we are going to create a container div in a label for our progress bar. Next, we'll use the progress tag. Value here represents the initial value of the progress, and max as its name suggests it represents the maximum value. Then we'll add some style to the container and its children.
That done, this is how our interface looks like currently. Now comes the JavaScript part to animate the progress bar. That said, we'll get rid of this block and uncomment the onProgress function. Then we'll use a bit of math to calculate the percentage of the loaded files which we are going to set as a value to the progress bar. And there we go. Now we'll use the onload function to remove the interface once the loading is completed and that's by setting the display property of the container to none. And that's it for this video, so make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.